Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn modern JavaScript methods by building football team cards. Step 37. All right. So inside the callback function, we're going to add a console.log with the value of e.target.value. We'll open up the console and make a selection from the teammates dropdown menu, and then we should see the value of that selection in the console, right? So e.target.value represents the value property from the player's dropdown list element. In future steps, we're going to use this value to show player cards based on the position they play. All right. So yeah, we're talking about this. So whenever we talk, whenever we select something and we use this, like let's say uh, we're doing the add event listener and we change it to forward, it's going to do whatever... Um, like we're gonna put a filter method in here, that's for sure. And it'll filter out all, they'll filter into a new array, all of the uh, cards that say forward on it. Like that first one, this one here, uh, and this one here and the rest of them, right? That have forward on them. So yeah, let's, uh, this one's basically a demonstration. Let's say console.log, and then we'll do uh, e.target. excuse me, value, like that. So now when we open up the console and we select nicknames, you can see it says nickname right here. So it'll say uh, nickname, it'll choose nickname and then whatever, whatever we put as the filter thing or I don't, maybe it's going to be a uh, switch statement or something. It'll say filter out all the ones that say nickname and put only those cards up there. Same with uh, midfielder, same with goalkeeper, whatever the case may be. All right. So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 38 and we'll see you next time.